Yo, what's poppin? It's your boy TJ. Welcome back to another video. We are going to be doing an ultimate FTMO strategy video to help all of you people that can't pass the FTMO challenge, they keep failing it day in, day out, or even going, not even hitting the min 10 days trading, and then failing the account, hitting the violations. This goes for any prop firm, by the way, not just FTMO, because in the end of the day, they're all sort of the similar sort of stuff, you know, they all compete with each other, they're always changing new account types, giving you extra 14 days if you're up 5% within the last day, FTMO just released that a few weeks ago, there's so many things that I'm adding, and there's so many things that you guys need to be aware of, and to also help you pass these challenges, because you don't want to keep forking out the money and failing, so without further ado, let's go baby! A few moments later... Okay, so, obviously the first thing we need to analyze in ourselves is obviously risk management. So looking at risk management, okay, it's a key factor. You need to be using an online app or an app from the app store where you can actually calculate your lot size. So how it basically works out is, okay, you have an account type, let's say it's $10,000, okay? We got $10,000 account type. We wanna be using 1% risk on this account type. In order to do that, all you got to find out is what 1% is of 10,000. 1% of 10,000 is $100. So we know that 1% is going to be $100. We are risking $100 per each trade. Now with per each trade, that is the max that you're going to be risking. You don't want to over risk, you don't want to go 2% per each trade because you only get max, max in one day, you get 5%. 5% in one day you can have in max drawdown slash lose. Now, if you're looking at this challenge and you want to get longevity in this challenge, then risking 1% is still quite high. So you could even risk 0.5% per each trade until you build it into profits because this is what a lot of people don't understand is with trading, it is actually how much to risk because everyone's eager to pass challenges and this is like the whole click that why these companies are successful because they want you to fail. So therefore, you're risking 1%, you hit an SL. You risk 1%, you hit an SL. You go again, you're minus 2%. So if we get max 5% in a day, we can only get max 10% overall. Now, if you're risking 1% per each trade, you only get 10 trades to, you know, you've got to lose 10 trades in order to buy the account. Now, if you're doing 2% risk, <laughs> then you only get 5 and this is why you should, I advise at the start of it, is use 0.25%. 0.25 or 0.5%. So 0.5% would be $50. People in day-to-day -day life, you know, make $50 to $150 a day. If you're just risking 0.5% on a 10K account, you're going to be making $50 per day. Let's say if your SL is 20 pips, so this is another thing. Your stop line is 20 pips, and your take profit, which is TP, is 20 pips. Now, 20 pips, SL, 20 pip take profit. On the risk management calculator, going back to this, to actually get the correct measurements, you would put in your pair that you trade, so XAUSD, because we trade gold, you would put in the calculator 20 pip per sell, you would put the account size, and then it will bring you to your lots, which I believe a 10k accounts about 0.59 with using a 20 pip per sell, to my general knowledge. Now, let's just say, for example, using a 0.59 lot per each trade taken. Now, we're making, okay, that's for 1%, by the way, 0.59 lots. That's for 1%. Now, if you're using 0.5%, you do the same thing. You do the exact same thing and it, will, and it will tell you what to use. You need to understand that it's not about going in and out of the markets or over trading. And that's why it can be difficult because as soon as you start trading, you'll understand everyone that trades, you open a trade, it's already minus, right? Depending on your broker, it could be a high amount or it could be a few pips. However, you're always going to be minus. Now, with a 20 pip stop line, obviously you're going for the really nice R to R. And this is what this is called. 
right here, 20 pip stop line, 20 pip take profit. It's called R to R. Now with R to R, it's called risk to reward. That is the correct thing, risk to reward. Now, as a trader myself and how I trade personally, you know, I try not to send a too many trades. I try and get my analysis with the market, do a bit of market direction, see the, see where it gold's been going, for example, you know, see when, see the key levels, where it could range to and from, and then that's when you get your markups. And if you're going in and out of the market, you're gonna lose percent, which is why I advise people to say, for example, this is how I trade, and you guys might wanna try this, is basically, you have your entry, and you have your take profit, but you don't enter it, because you're like, if this comes in, it's probably gonna bounce off and sell down if it's bullish and sell back for a retest. So you know, okay, it's gonna go there. I don't have to enter the market. No FOMO, fear of missing out. Another thing, we'll just quickly explain it. F O M O, fear of missing out. And this is a great thing. This is what all beginners do wrong and all unexperienced traders do wrong. And um, you know, and this is just this part of trading, part of the whole experience. But when you're, when you're entering a trade, you must believe in that trade and to the point where you've done your back testing, you've done your analysis and you, you'll, you'll feel comfortable in entering it because you don't want to be taking losses. With these FTMO accounts, if you get a $400,000 account, you do not need to risk 1% and you don't need to over trade. Don't get excited because you've got a big account thinking, you know, this is going to change everything. There's no difference to having a £100 account and a million pound account. The only difference is psychology with the account size, the margins, you know, the volume of the money. That's the only difference. However, it will mess up your your psychology. You know, if your guys are trading on 500, 200, 300 dollar accounts, and you go into a 10,000 to 50,000 account, then therefore, already your brain, as soon as you get a loss, you're like, oh God, that's a lot of money. And same with a win. You're like, oh my God, this is a lot of money. And this is where, you know, your brain, and it probably does depend on the individual, but let's just say like 99% of traders don't make it past three months of trading. And uh, the reason for that is because we're all human, we all make mistakes, and we can all get carried away and lost. And you know, there, I've been doing this for many, many years, and I can tell you endless of stories. People making five plus, five plus grand in a first day on a funded account, making 20 grand on a funded account, and then actually losing their account. So with these challenges, you need to bear in mind, with the challenge and a live account, no differences. There's no difference with the accounts. With the live account, you still have to get a percentage power each month. You still have to make money. And um, this is why, with the challenges, if you guys are struggling with these challenges and failing them, then it doesn't matter if you pass, because you're gonna fail the live account. And this is why you must understand, use minimum risk, 0.5% at the start. Take it slow, enjoy yourself, enjoy the experience. Don't rush everything. In life, nothing's a rush. You know, I'd love to get a supercar. I make enough money where I can get a supercar. But on my life, I'm not getting a supercar. I've paid off my, my car, okay? I'm paying off my car next month, which, um, you know, is a decent sized amount of money. And then, you know, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So I'm gonna take it calm with the car not bust my balls off to get a nice car so then I always have that stress. And the same with trading, enjoy the trading experience. You know? And what I mean by this, just so I'm not waffling, is the minimum 10 days to pass. This is one of the biggest things that get people, min 10 days. Everyone feels like they have to trade. Everyone feels like they have to trade and pass before their min 10 days. And this is where it goes wrong in trading. Everyone feels like they have to get that and then move on to the next account. Take it slow. Like I said at the start of this video in the intro, prop firms, and I can speak on behalf of FTMO, you're up plus 5% and you've done the minimum 20 days, so one month of trading, 20 trading days in a month roughly, um, you get an extra 14 days if you're plus 5%. Now remember, there's only five trading days in a week. Obviously, if you're trading Bitcoin and stuff, it's a little bit different, it's open on the weekends, however, or other cryptos. However, you don't need to rush them in 10 days, just take it slow. Your life isn't gonna change even if you pass within that 10 days. You still gotta do the verification, and then once you do the verification, you gotta wait 10 days, and then you gotta get the account, and then you gotta wait for payout. So this really is no rush, just take it slow. 
You need to focus on the risk to reward of trading, not FOMOing in your trades, taking it slow, doing your analysis, getting the call right, and then entering the next call. You don't have to be in, out, in, out every day. There's days when I don't trade, you know, and the reason why, and even for my VIP group, nearly 400 people, by the way, much, much love to you guys watching, but the reason why is that you don't trade every day because you need to train yourself to not train uh, to trade every day. You need to train yourself and build that self-development for your psychology so that you can be comfortable trading once a week. Because in the end of the day, you do trading to improve your life, to give yourself a less stress, to make it easier so you're not having to work every single day. So why stress about trading every day? Something that I've had to massively psychologically with myself has changed within like the last year. When I'm doing well, for example, last month in January, plus 44.5% in the whole month that we got risking 1% per each trade. Um, and then from there, new month, you reset your mindset, you go again, you're not up 44.5%. And it's, and it's true, in trading, you're only as good as your last trade. It doesn't matter if you've hit a 4% trade. Because you could get your next five trades run in two days. And that's what you're avoiding. You're avoiding losing trades consistently on a daily basis. So only trading, you know, we're going to take the trade on Tuesday because I wanted to. And then if it comes in as a loss, I'm just going to, it is what it is. 1%, who cares? I'm going to go again. What I'm not going to do is FOMO in to the same trade that lost and go again. And I'm not going to FOMO in the next day on the trade. I don't want to try and recoup my losses too soon. Because I need to reset my mindset, get my thoughts together, and go again. And these are some key things. And I'll put in link in description and a risk management app. A lot of people don't risk manage. A lot of beginners, okay, they get on the wrong foot. They see like the Instagram ads and they go with the fake gurus. They tell you to do 0.50 lot sizes, 0.10 because they're making like money from like V Sync shares. So every time you you deposit into their broker, they make money. Every time that you trade a lot, they make money. And that's why the whole Forex community and stuff is a little bit uh, discombobulated in terms of people's knowledge and what people think they, they, they think are right, but they're not right. And it's risk management. Don't use the same lots. Once you know what your lot size is, you can use the same lots because it's not about the lot size. You're doing the 1% to 0.5% risk management. Now, that is... All the key things that you really need to know to pass. Obviously, you need to be able to trade. That is one of the keyest things. So if you need help, join up. My link's in the description. Discord, Telegram. I've got a TJ VIP Super Sale for $24.99. And obviously, I'll show you some trades right here that have been popping, as I said, 44.5% in January. And yeah, just the start of Feb, so it's only going to get better. There's no rush. There's no rush in anything that you do with Forex. It is a marathon, not a sprint. And I just want you guys to understand these things here, these like three or four things I've said in this video, they are they are things that you need to draw into your brain, draw into your draw into in the inside of your brain and try and be consistent and have that trading plan and keep literally tunnel visioned into your goals and just Realize there's no rush, you know, we're not trading and gold's gonna be there tomorrow It's gonna be there in a year's time ten years time for gold gold is one of the most safest things to trade Which is why I trade it because I know You know in 20 years time if whatever happens with the whole crypto and like Currencies and stuff like that if that all changes it's still gonna be charts But with gold I know how to trade gold I know what to look for when it sells when it buys when it changes direction, how to read the market direction. And it's taken me a long time, but you know, practice makes perfect. And it's the same with trading. You can't give up, you gotta keep going and try and understand and learn from people that are better than you at trading and use their analysis and their trades to improve you. So let's say you join a group, it doesn't have to be mine, any group, and they send a trade and you're following these people. Just take a look on the chart. See where their entry is, see their stop line, see their take profit. Look on the daily, look on the hourly, and go, how the hell has this trader got this analysis? And because um, obviously I understand that a lot of people that can't actually trade, don't believe in themselves in trading, that's fine. Because you can always grow and build yourself to work towards that in the end goal. I just highly advise, if you're in a group, doesn't matter what group you're in, just look at the trade yourself on a chart, on trading view, And uh, yeah, just make sure 
that you can actually see, yeah, it's a good trade. Because if you can't see it's a good trade, then don't doubt yourself with the decision, doubt them. You know, and if it comes in a fair play, ask them for the whole analysis and get their reasons for why they entered it. And if they didn't come in, then start believing in yourself. Because if I can trade and if I could do this, then everyone watching this video, I swear my life can do it. Like, there's no difference between me and you, real talk. There's no difference. You guys are probably smarter than me. But it's been your boy TJ. I hope you enjoyed this video with the whiteboard. I hope you guys can see it. And uh, yeah, I'll make some more strategies and everything like that. Let me know in the comments. Until next time, peace, baby.